Update on the voting results from yesterday's poll. 72 to 28%, the bottom is absolutely smashing it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. Boys, the purple squad is growing in numbers. We have created a purple army, you might say. We got major updates on the Gladiator Hellasaurus 6x6, uh, the C8 Corvette. We have news, not necessarily good news. We strive for great news, and this would be considered below average news. And on that bombshell, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It sounds so good. Trust me, the Gladiator Hellosaurus 6x6 is still gonna happen. We just need to get the elephant, but we kinda sorta have some bad news. So Mopar was supposed to deliver my elephant at the end of May. It's now the middle of December and the elephant still absolutely no news whatsoever. Generally the saying is no news is good news, but in this case I would reckon that no news is kind of sort of bad news, bad news. I just realized I need to move the Focus RS because I'm putting the Gladiator right there. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. You might remember I told you that on November 29th, the second frame for my Gladiator was supposed to arrive from Mopar. Uh, well, Mopar didn't deliver it, so it, it didn't arrive. It is absolutely freezing here in Utah. Come on, are you kidding me? Also, my hip, all oh, the hip. You guys might remember that I, anyways, yeah, I fell. When the second Gladiator frame did not arrive on November 29th, on December 2nd, we called Mopar, and they were like, oh yeah, so kind of sort of change the plans. Uh, it's going to, it's going to arrive in January. January? What, what about the elephant? Oh yes, yeah, yeah we, we don't know. We're, we're not really sure. I'm, that's, not, that's not really exactly how it went down, but the second Gladiator frame is supposed to arrive sometime in January. They could not give us a hard date though. So honestly, I have no idea. If any executives from Mopar are watching today's video, hello, hi, hello, hello. Sorry about the whole Debbie Downer speech in relation to Mopar and the Gladiator, but like I take so much pride in being honest with you guys, and when I tell you dates, I expect those dates and promises to be fulfilled, and I don't want you guys to think that I'm lying to you, and in this case, I didn't lie to you. Mopar just dropped the ball, and I feel bad. The Gladiator 6x6, it's gonna happen. I just, everything keeps falling apart. This is a cold startup on a 2012 Lamborghini Aventador. Obviously, I have to be very careful to not show you what's behind me, uh, so we're gonna do sort of like this lobster crawl. Also, the door isn't squeaking. I just can't get over how good the purple looks as a trio, but imagine a quad, yeah, a quadruple. Obviously, I'm hiding it behind that garage right there because we need to talk about the C8 Corvette. Before we get to the big reveal, we have an update on my C8 Corvette allocation. Back in July of 2019, I put a $5,000 non-refundable deposit down on the new C8 Corvette, hoping to get it in January or February of 2020. Well, a lot of you guys have probably heard the news. If you haven't, the United Auto Workers strike forced a production delay for the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette until February of 2020, which means production's not gonna start until February. I probably won't see my Corvette until April or May or June. If you did not see the last video I just announced, I am twin turboing my Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Zebit. That's Z-E-B-I-T, Zebit. The Zebit Marketplace has thousands and thousands of products from all your favorite brands. We're talking Samsung, Sony, Apple, Nike, Adidas. This holiday season, Zebit is gonna be your online marketplace of choice. Let me explain why. <laughs> The holiday season is definitely one of the most stressful times of the entire year. If you're like me, you have absolutely no idea whatsoever what any of your friends or family want for the holidays. And even if I did know, which I don't, but if I did, I don't have the time to actually go out to the store to purchase anything. Well, Zebit is gonna be the online marketplace. It's gonna be your guys and my guys' hero this holiday season. They got thousands of products from all your favorite brands. They got computers, they got laptops, they got cameras, they got apparel. You name it, Zebit most likely has it. And check this out. There's zero cost to join, there's zero fees, and you pay zero interest over time. Simply find an amazing product you love on Zebit, proceed to checkout, you'll pay a small portion of the purchase price at checkout, and then the remaining balance, you pay 
zero interest over time. That's right, boys, zero interest over time. Now, maybe you're like me though, and you don't know what to buy anybody. They got gift certificates, all your favorite brands. They got Old Navy, they got Nike, they got Macy's, all your favorite brands, they got gift cards, boys. So if you're like a last minute shopper like me, you are set for life. Or maybe you're on top of it, they got all sorts of products to buy right now. Be sure to check out the link in the description below, zebit.com slash the Stradman. You can get $2,500 interest-free credit today. Link below, boys, link, 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 link. Oscar, come on, let's go, let's go, come on, hustle, hustle, upstairs. Kids, do not, under any circumstances ever, Oscar, including you, never try this. And quite possibly the most exciting sequence in the vlog, the purple squad was three, and now it is four. Oh boy, so I have to be very, very careful because I'm very excited, and if I fall off the roof out of excitement and I die, you guys will never, ever, ever, ever get to see what car it is. Oh boy, okay, we gotta chill. We're getting close to the edge. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. The car looks absolutely amazing. The Burlacker, that's right, Nick has wrapped his Shelby GT350 purple. The squad was three and now it is four. And on that bombshell, I think it's time for the drone. Yes, the drone in three, two, one. Squad is four strong, soon to be five strong. That GT350 just looks, it looks, it looks so good. Okay, so we can stand up here all day, but we're actually gonna jump down from the roof to the concrete. Wow, oh, wow, oh, oh. <laughs> that was the world's most embarrassing transition ever, and I'm sorry for that. I should not put that in the video because you guys are gonna make fun of me in the comments below, but you know what? Sometimes in life, you gotta make fun of yourself. The GT350 just looks so good. Nick the Burlacker, he owns this house. This is his GT350. He has matched his Mustang to the squad. It looks so, so good. So the Nick has a bunch of mods coming to the car soon. I think we might see a couple stripes, maybe some wheels, and maybe a supercharger. Maybe a supercharger. Nick, come on, bro. We need a supercharger. The boys need a supercharger, and the girls. I cannot get over how good the four cars all look in matching purple color scheme. It just, it looks so good. It looks so, so good. And I realize I probably said so good 99 times, but at the same time, it looks so good. I can't quite understand my fascination with the color purple either, or the burlackers, but it's such a unique color that you don't see very often. And to have the four cars all matching, like the presence and the branding. When I was at SEMA with the Super, the Gladiator and the Aventador, when people saw the purple cars, they knew they were owned by the annoying YouTuber, and the squad is only gonna be growing in numbers. We got four strong right now. We got the Ford GT, the C8 Corvette, and the twin turbo Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm not gonna say all three are gonna be going purple, but well, they might, maybe. There's just so much presence. Also, I wish Nick was here, but unfortunately, he's at work right now, so yeah, sorry, bro. That GT350 sick, though. Oscar. Oscar, come here. Oscar, hey, 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 sit, sit, sit. I think, guys, this might be the best view we have ever had on the channel. Yeah, there you go, bud. Yeah. Update on the voting. It's still at 72% and 25,000 people have voted. I figured it'd be a lot closer than that. And speaking of the Ford GT, we still don't really have any kind of update. I'm just waiting for the phone call from Pacific Air Cargo. As soon as they call me, tell me the car is ready to be picked up in Los Angeles. We're booking a one-way flight and we are driving it home back to the beautiful state of Utah. My biggest regret, I only had one day with the car in Hawaii before having to drop it off. In retrospect, I should have booked like a week long vacation, but well, what are you gonna do? Also, the cars, they just look so good. They all look so good in purple. I don't mean to move the camera around so quickly. I don't mean to make you nauseous. I just get excited because purple is life. Yes, good. When I was in Hawaii last week, I made an offer on a piece of land and we're gonna go look at it with Oscar. Yeah, bud. 
Unfortunately, the weather is absolute garbage, but the piece of land I made an offer on is right there. You'll know we got a bit of a donut circle right here. I want to do donuts, trust me. Oscar wants me to do donuts, but if the guy I'm trying to buy this piece of land from sees that I'm doing donuts, he might reject my offer, and that's a bad day because this is by far and away my favorite lot that I've seen. 1.7 acres, I made an offer on it. I'm just waiting to hear back. Oscar, what do you think, bud? Yeah, this would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would work. The weather is terrible, but like the view of the mountains that way is absolutely insane. So we got 1.7 acres, the property line is like right there along those trees, along that fence, and then back here. The plan would be to put the barn way out there in the back corner, have a long sweeping driveway, and then build the main house there someday. We'd also have space for like a go-kart track. So yeah, more to come. Uh, as soon as I find out if they accepted my offer or rejected my offer, I'll let you guys know. If you did not see the reveal of Nick's Mustang on his own channel, you need to go check it out. It was one of the coolest reveals I have ever seen. I'm going to link that video below. I'm going to show you a sneak preview right now. The reveal is sick. Check out his video, link in the description below. A lot of people have been asking, where am I gonna park the Ford GT when it arrives here to Utah? So the Gallardo's headed off to Chicago to be twin turboed. So the GT will actually park here for three months because the Gallardo's gonna be in Chicago until the springtime. When the Gallardo gets back, I actually have no idea because even if I bought that land today, the house won't be built for at least eight to 10 months. So I'm not really sure. And on that bombshell, today's video is effectively over. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.